very excited that uh, the courts have finally pronounced themselves and uh, they have confirmed that uh, we were elected uh, light free in the position that we hold in Jubilee. And we would want to thank God because this has been a long, long journey. It is actually uh, five months today since the meeting that we, uh, was, uh, was done in, uh, in Nakuru on the 10th of February, where a raft of changes were done in the Jubilee party. As you remember, Jubilee used to be the largest party in our country. But because of um, mismanagement here and there, Jubilee ended up being the third largest party in the country. And we decided as members to take action, to change the leadership, so that we can keep the hopes of our, of our followers alive. And I'm happy that today the PPDT has, through the majority vote, agreed with all the organs of the party that we were rightfully put in office. We want to assure our members who are in all corners of our country that we are coming to visit you. We will come to you and we will make sure that all, of, all our organs are properly functioning. We don't want to have a situation whereby there is only one person who makes decisions on behalf of the rest of the members. Before we do the NDC, we'll have our townhouse, uh, townhouse um, meetings or town hall meetings where we will come do public participation, ask you what you want, and as we move forward, we want to assure you that um, we will revamp our party, energize our party, and assure our members that in 2027, Jubilee will still be there, Jubilee will field candidates. So those who have been peddling falsehood and lies that Jubilee is up for sale, we want to tell them that that's plain, to, uh, plain lies that you have been uh, uh, peddling to our people out there. We want to assure them that we field candidates in good gubernatorial good, good, uh, seats, we field candidates in uh, senatorial seats, we field candidates in the MCA seats, we field, uh, field candidates in parliamentary seats. And from what we have seen, with the interactions that we have had with our members, we have seen that um, Jubilee uh, is loved as a party and you know for sure in the last 10 years Jubilee was in power and um, most of the projects that have been undertaken in our country were undertaken actually during the Jubilee regime. So the assurance that we want to give to our elected leaders, the 34 elected leaders both in the Senate and in the National Assembly and one governor, the 127 MCAs who have been elected across the country. This is a time to reclaim your position. There are some counties whereby our MCAs have been mistreated. We are coming to assert ourselves. The, in the National Assembly, our members have been mistreated. We want to say that we assert ourselves as a parliamentary party in the National Assembly. Our Governor, Honorable uh, Guido, we also want to welcome you back and tell you that Jubilee is the place to be. And to the general populace, all the members of Jubilee, there are over 6 million registered Jubilee members. We want to assure you that we have regained our party, we will come to you, and we will make sure that um, Jubilee will be the party of choice going forward. To our adversaries, and to all those who have, been, uh, who have taken us uh, down that, that path, we want to assure you that we will not be indicted, we will not push you. If you uh, repent and say that you don't want to still work with, with us, our doors are open. And um, the former party leader, His Excellency Rumi Yoye Kenyatta, we also want to confirm to you that you are still a friend and a member of Jubilee. When you really want to come back to the party, we as members of Jubilee, we are we as officials of Jubilee, our doors are open. Finally, we are going to uh, give uh, a timetable of the programs that will be rolling out. Of course, with the culmination being the NDC, the NDC will not be an event, it will be a process, and that is the reason we have said that NDC will be done in due course, of course in consultation with our people on the ground. The moment we do those consultations on the ground, for sure, we will give you, as a people through public participation, an opportunity to air your views, an opportunity 
to guide us an opportunity to tell us whom you really want us to work with. But one thing is very, 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 um, it's very obvious. One thing is very, very obvious that on the Azimio side, we have been shortchanged. They have mistreated us. They have mistreated our members of parliament. They have mistreated our MCAs, specifically here in Nairobi. We want to tell you that this message we will take to our people back to you. We will pick, uh, take this message to our people and ask them, do you still want to go this, uh, through this path? But the, through the, uh, that path, and I am very sure that our people have already made up their mind that they don't want to go through that path of Azimio because they have really mistreated us. Thank you, and uh, we meet on the ground. We are hoping that they are not going to appeal against this decision. We are hoping that they are going to uh, accept the court because we, 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 we know for sure that the due process was done. They are going to accept the verdict of the courts. But if they choose to still pursue, we are still there. But we also want to tell them that we have a party to grow. We want to go to the ground so that we can revamp our party. That is our mission. And I don't believe that there is any person who is going to stop us from pursuing that uh, path.